Greetings again. Uh, this is Nati Muyala. Uh, on this week's episode, I want us to focus on something else. And as we are taking a journey, uh, previously we spoke about God in the beginning. Now, today, I just want us to change our focus and look at something else. I just want us to read from the book of 2 Kings chapter 13 you can read from verse 14 to verse 21 but i will read only a few verses you can read the whole story it's about the death of prophet elisha uh, verse 18 says then elisha told the king to take the other arrows and strike the ground with them the king struck the ground three times and then stopped. I'll underline the word then stopped. This made Elisha angry and he said to the king, you should have, stru have struck five or six times and then you will have won complete victory over the Syrians. But now you will defeat them only three times. Uh, what I just, uh, I want us to draw from the reading of this word is the power of proceed. The power of proceeding. The power of the proceed button that you have in your life. Let's look at uh, our ATM machines. You can have a card, bank account, that is full of money, you've got your pin, you push your card in, and then you put your pin, and you stop right there. It doesn't matter, it will not proceed. You need to press proceed. Most of us, we are where we are because we have not learned the power to proceed. We don't, we don't have that thing that says continue in our lives. The story we read is about the death of prophet Elisha, as he was sick, he had a fatal disease and he was about to die. And the king went to him and cried out, my father, my father. As his last action, Elisha asked the king to shoot arrows out of the window. And, and he puts his hand together on top of the king's hands and they shot the arrows and he prophesied. He spoke that you will defeat your enemies. Now he gave him an instruction and this time Elisha did not put his hand on the king's hand. He led the king to be free, to do it without any help. The king had to decide what to do. The prophet asked him to strike the ground with the remaining arrows that he had. He struck the ground three times and then stopped. And that made the prophet to be angry, to say, why did you stop? You should have continued to strike the ground, maybe five or six times. That would have been a sign that you will succeed completely, destroy your enemies completely. Then when I bring that to us, what can we draw out of this? Most of us, whatever we do, we start powerful things. We make powerful business ideas, we have them, we come with them, and we work very hard at the, in the beginning, and we stop. When everything stops, you should know that is the end of it. We know what happens to the water that flows, as it flows and it, if it stops. And the water that is stagnant is very dangerous, it's deadly. When you stop doing whatever you do, that you were doing, that it was taking you forward, you actually stopped. Let's look at this. Even a navigator cannot direct somebody who's stationary. Try it. Drive now if somebody gives you a location and you're following with your navigator to tell you turn left, turn right. In 600 meters, they say, stop and listen. Even God, it's even difficult for God to give directions to a stationary person. Move, my brother, move my sister. Whatever you're doing, keep on moving. You're either moving in cycles, 
either moving backward or moving forward, moving very slow, you need to continue moving. Do not stop. We started the year very nice. Some of us, we are going to go to the gym because we want to build some muscles, lose some weight. Now we will stop some of us. And when you stop, that project is dead. You need to continue because when you stop, is the end of it. Do not stop doing whatever you are doing that is pushing you forward. If you have been selling something, keep on selling. If that person who passes by does not buy, don't worry. There are over 7 billion people in the whole world. Just count and say, this is not my custom. There are still other people that will come. If you are doing a project and you fail, stand up and do it again. If you fall down, you don't lie down forever. You stand up and continue again. So some people use this term push and they try to say pray until something happens. Don't not stop. Our biggest enemy sometimes is ourselves. Some of us, we are not stopped by the enemy. We are stopped. We decided to stop ourselves. Volunteer. We just volunteer to stop. And the enemy by that time is surprised and will start clapping for you, encouraging you to even camp wherever you are. David says in Psalm 23 that even though I pass through, there's no stopping the veil. He said, even though I pass through the veil of the shade of death, it's passing through. Whatever situation you are in, do not stop. Do not stop loving your family. Do not stop visiting them. Do not stop supporting them. Do not stop running that business. Do not stop waking up in the morning and praying and studying. Do not stop. Whatever you do, press the proceed button. You have done everything. You put the card. You put the right pin. Now you need to press the proceed. And when you come to the next step, it will ask you, how much do you want? You say 10,000 rand. You don't say 10,000 rand and fold your arms. It will even ask you, do you want to continue? Because it expects you to say, proceed. And when you say proceed, it will move to the next step and give you the money and ask you, do you want to do something else? And you say, yes. But that will not change anything. You need to press proceed. So everything that you do, when you stop, you're actually limiting your growth. You're actually stopping the flow. There are some of us, you know these buildings that you walk in. It's walk through, you walk to the door. The door is closed. You will not go in. And nobody else will come and open the door. They will tell you, all you need to do is to proceed. Just keep on walking towards that door. The door will open. But if you choose to stop, the door will keep on closing. Whatever you're doing this year, do not stop. Because if you stop, you will lose everything that you have done up till to that time. And I pray that God will give us the strength, even when it's difficult, he may strengthen all of us as we are going through whatever we are going through. Even sometimes when we became our biggest undertakers, when we became the ones that are discouraging ourselves, even when we, become, we, we are becoming the chair ladies, we are cheering the devil when he's dealing with us. May God give us wisdom to be able to discern that this is the time to push and to push. I like the people from the north in Limpopo. They say the baggage or the, the, something that you're carrying it becomes very heavy as you're approaching the gate. If it be, becomes very heavy, it just shows that you are close to the end, close to the finish line. Whatever you do this year, whatever you do this month, whatever you're doing, do not stop. God bless you and amen and amen.